Welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's video, we have some products from Sonoff, and more specific, the famous NS panel, a wall switch, and a LED strip. So, if you want to have something like this, or control another Sonoff device through NS panel, stay in this video. Let's start with the unboxing. First, the NS panel, which, as you can see, has support for Alexa and Google Home. Here is the QR code to download the eWeeLink app. Inside the box we have this small user guide. And the actual NS panel. and some mounting screws. This is the NS panel with two physical buttons and the screen, and the back side we have the connectors. Let's unbox also the smart wall switch, similar packaging, This is the actual switch, also some additional mounting screws, and this is the smart switch, similar to an S panel, two physical buttons, it can control two outputs. You can control the outputs either from the button or from the EWI link up. Now let's unbox the LED strip as well. As you can see, this is the L1 model. It has similar support for Alexa, Google Home, if this and that. And inside the box, we can find the actual LED strip. This packaging has a 2 meter LED strip the module and the power supply. As we said, this is the 2 meter version, so let's open the LED strip. This is the power supply. As you can see, it has several adapters for US, UK, or European plugs. We will keep the European plug. This is the actual module, Wi-Fi and IR. And this is the IR remote. Let's remove this plastic here in order to enable the remote. And it's time to connect the LED strip. First the plug. Here you can connect the power supply to the actual Wi-Fi module. We need to unroll the LED strip. It seems really high quality.
and then we need to connect the LED strip to the actual module. In case it is not working, you need to connect it the other way. And now our LED strip is ready. We can control it through the remote IR. Very easy. In order to pair it to the EWI link up, you need just to press the button for 5 seconds, the ON button, and then it will switch to pairing mode. Now it's time to make the necessary connection for NS panel a smart wall switch and power it on. We need to remove this cover, which unveils the connectors. As you can see, this NS panel requires the line and neutral as well. Same applies for the smart wall switch. We have two outputs, the line in and the neutral. So after we make all the necessary connection and we power on the smart wall switch, you can see we have a blue LED blinking on the left switch. It means that it's ready to be paired and connected to eWheel link up. Now it's time to do the same thing for the NS panel. Now that all the necessary connections for an S panel are ready, and more specific, we have a neutral and a line, it's time to power it on. As you can see from the screen of an S panel, the device is booting up. We also have a message that the device is ready to be linked to the eWi link up. Now we need to download the eWi link up from App Store or Google Play and create an account. Once our eWi link up is ready and our device is ready for pairing, it's time to connect the devices to our account. The procedure is really simple. Just press the Add button and select Bluetooth pairing. We have a notification that our device needs to be ready for pairing. As you can see, we have both devices here. Let's press Connect in the first one. Select the Wi-Fi network we want to connect the devices to, type the password, press save for the password, and our device is ready. Now it's time to do the same exactly procedure for the second device. Select the device from the device list, press connect, select Wi-Fi from the list, press save for the password, and after some seconds, our device is ready. Select the room and press done. That's it. This pairing procedure is really simple. Now, as you can see, you can control the relays from the smart wall switch or the NS panel through the wheel link up as well. It looks really responsive. If you want to get rid of this blue LED that indicates the network status, you just need to enter in the switch settings, go to network indicator and turn it off. As you can see, this smart wall switch has two red LEDs that indicates the status of its relay. When you turn on the light that is connected to this specific relay, this LED indication becomes more bright. In case of an S panel, instead of these red LEDs, we have these blue bars above the buttons that indicates the status of the relay. So we can easily identify if the light is on or off.
similar feeling for the buttons of the NS panel and this smart wall switch. Here you can see better this red LED that indicates the status. And here are the blue bars that indicate the status of the relays of the NS panel. NS panel is much more than a smart switch with two relays. So let's give a closer look. It has this screen where you can see several information and control many things. If we scroll from the top, we have a slider where we can adjust the brightness and set up the sleep time. Several options here for the sleep time. If we swipe from the left, here we have the thermostat, we'll configure it later. If we swipe from the right, we have the widgets. We will give a closer look to that in a little bit. Now it's time to go back to the EWI link app. If we go to an S panel, you see we have an option for a thermostat. Here we can configure which relay will control our thermostat. Let's control channel 1 in an S panel. Let's press next. Select if it is a heater or cooler. In our case it's going to be a heater. And that's it. We have a thermostat. We can start it. We can set up manual or auto mode. And let's compare it now to the NES panel. If we should swipe from the left, we have this thermostat with similar buttons like in the e wheeling app. It looks really snappy. We have great response time. And if we exceed the configured temperature, it will enable the relay. A very easy thermostat. Also we have auto mode and manual mode. Really responsive. So in an S panel we have a fully working thermostat. If we swipe from the left. If we swipe from the right, we have the widgets. Widgets, it means that we can control other son of devices from an S-Panel. Since an S-Panel has included a temperature sensor, we can configure some scenes, as you can see here, which will involve the temperature. So we can configure a scene that we will control RLA in case temperature is lower or bigger than a specific value. And we can configure this from the scenes. We can enable or disable a specific relay on an independent son of device in case we have a different value than the one we have set up in our scene. More details on scenes and automation we will have on our next video. Now it's time to add the widget since our widget page is empty. In order to do so, we need to go to settings of NS panel, scroll down to widgets and press add. Here we can see all the available son of device, in our case the smart wall switch M5. And that's it. We have just added a widget. Now if we scroll from the right, we have here the controls for our smart wall switch. We have, a, we have our first widget. We have our first widget from which we can control a son of device. This is the first introduction of the son of devices. Many more details will come in the upcoming videos. Now it's time to check the final result after the installation of the NS panel and the switch. As you can see, we can control a light from the included relay in the smart wall switch and through a scene control the LED strip. Also, we have two widgets here. We can adjust the brightness of the screen 
and here control our thermostat. Based on the widget, we have different controls. This widget controls the smart wheel switch, so we have just two options to on off. And here are the controls for the smart LED strip. We can change the color, change the brightness, and of course, turn it on and off. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.